Good morning, it's Wednesday the 3rd of May. This is the Phoenix Blue Update presented this morning by Tom Colley. Quiet day in the markets yesterday following the bank holiday uh, as anticipated, a lot of lack of liquidity. Um, there are things happening this week which will mean there is not necessarily a great urgency for um, some traders to enter the market. I'm talking about the FOMC statement this evening. Um, and the second round and final round of the French presidential election at the weekend. Um, so add, add into that the bank holiday in a short week and um, it's certainly a week where um, we here at Phoenix Blue are favouring intraday trades um, ahead of longer term trades. Let's have a look at the news um, we saw yesterday. We had some really strong figures out for manufacturing and PMI on the pound. Um, we're looking for trades long side on the pound at the moment. Um, we then had uh, reasonable numbers in ahead of last fi um, last week's figures, or it's a fortnightly figure, isn't it? The last fortnightly figure on the um, New Zealand dairy price index that came in at positive three point six percent. Um, and then uh, overnight, we've had some um, strong employment and unemployment data uh, out on the Kiwi that saw a push up um, through that data. We're now pulling back and we'll have a look at that chart in a second. Um, another reason for um, being cautious with your trading today is um, for the rest of the week, we have a Japanese bank holiday. So the um, Asian session will be quiet in terms of liquidity. Um, so that's certainly a market to be cautious with um, for the same reasons that we've already mentioned. Coming up today, we've got construction PMI on the pound. We've got the ADP non-farm employment chains, which sometimes can be um, an indicator of where we expect uh, non-farm to be on Friday is no guarantee as we've seen in recent months um, but certainly a positive figure there tends to get the markets um, excited about the same for non-farm on Friday as you can see the forecast is 178,000 as opposed to 263 which was the previous level achieved um, so one to watch there we then have ISM non-manufacturing PMI that services PMI uh, out of the US and then crude oil inventories out of the US um, crude has been pushing to the downside um, through yesterday so um, clearly something there it's at a significant level um, so uh, looking to break a trend line at the same level so it may take um, negative figures there for that to break or alternatively to uh, recover from that support then this evening we have the FOMC statement from the Fed we aren't expecting a, uh, pr uh, a rate increase um, the market anticipates June and September for the next rate increases it, the statement will be very eagerly watched. We had some very poor first quarter growth figures um, out of the states um, and it will be interesting to see how the Fed or the FOMC look at those figures and how they comment on that data. Um, I suspect they will try to continue to play the same longer term picture um, at the moment and treat those as an anomaly. Um, and obviously but comment that they will be keeping their eye on that um, naturally there will be a lot of uh, volatility around the statement even if nothing happens there's always some anticipation so um, I would think that you want to be looking at getting your intraday, tra intraday trades locked down before that um, today and obviously um, potentially close out any orders you have um, on the charts that are liable to be opened by that spike. Going through into the uh, early morning tomorrow, we have trade balance out on the Aussie and then um, RBA Governor Lowe speaking. Um, we had the uh, rate statement from the RBA very early yesterday morning. Um, it was a dovish statement, um, so that will be one that we can watch to see how, if there is anything that comes out of it, how that affects 
or relates to what's already been said in the statement. Okay, over to the charts and really not a huge lot to show you. We've still got the dollar index consolidating. Uh, the yen is a bit more interesting. We've got the uh, bullish move through here. Uh, we're looking at this level about 1112, 113 through here in conjunction with this um, falling channel. Um, that's obviously the key level of resistance looking to see how price reacts to that. It may be that we're waiting for Friday for non-farm um, for price to drift into that level um, before we actually get a reaction if we get some data out of NFP um, that's um, positive or negative in one direction. Over on the euro, um, still consolidating uh, in this um, box range it's been in since price gapped up after the first round of the French election. Um, we're at the top of a channel here. We've got uh, these, are, these are intraday resistance levels. We've got a, a commitment of traders, extreme signal to the short side. Um, but through these zones, I can't find any really strong levels of resistance. So um, I don't necessarily expect us to see um, price reacting just yet to that um, commitment of traders signal. Um, I do anticipate that we'll possibly see a break out of this box range out of the trend up to the long side um, if it's going to break in any direction before NFP on Friday. Um, here we have the key ways that we have today already or on the overnight uh, Asian session. We've had bullish move on um, Kiwi on the back of that good employment and unemployment data. Um, this chart was taken about an hour ago and actually price is now pulled back and that's uh, even further back the uh, looking very much like a doji at the moment. Um, I am interest, very interested in this level at 69.25 through here. We've got this, um, what was the bottom of a triangle, okay, we've broken out, come back, um, but it's clearly a level through there, and I've got an intraday entry there, looking to take this to the long side. Our bias is long on this, price has reacted quite strongly to this level through here where we've got the commitment of traders uh, long alert. So um, our bias is long, We've had a move through um, this key level here. We're looking for a pullback um, to that as support to take that back to the long side um, with targets around the 0, 0700 level, which is the highs up here. Over on CAD, CAD's at an interesting level at the moment. It's been pushing through, um, predominantly led by weakening uh, crude prices. We had a commitment of traders, or we have a commitment of traders extreme, and that would have applied at this significant level here um, at about 13575, I believe it is. Um, that for me is now an ignored signal, um, and I will be um, more than happy for price to pull back to that level to take trades to the long side there. Um, because that's been ignored, the signal, the commitment of traders uh, extreme signal is still in place. That's been ignored. So now looking for the next significant level, and this is a weekly level through here. You can see good um, resistance and good um, touches, uh, opens and closes, tips of the wicks through there. Um, so that would be my next significant level. So I would be um, interested in trading price short if we got through to that level based on the uh, that extreme signal there. Um, but as I say, I quite possibly expect price to pull back first. And there's clearly two uh, levels we've got through marked through there, either of which could provide support for the next leg up. Um, and this channel could actually be um, ignored on that basis. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Reminder that Tuesday next week, the 9th of May, um, is the next free trading session in London. It's an afternoon session, um, an opportunity to learn from and trade alongside the uh, Phoenix Blue Fund managers. If you're interested in coming along to that, if you uh, go to Eventbrite and search uh, Phoenix Blue London, um, you'll get uh, the opportunity to sign up 
and get all the um, joining instructions and details there. Alternatively, if you come to us through the contact page on the website, phoenixblue.co.uk, um, that will um, do the same job for you. Okay, guys, um, thank you for listening, and we'll be back with you again in the morning. Take care.